<laughs> it's uh, it's summer, boys, and uh, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's summertime, y'all, and uh, all right. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing in this uh video is um, I'm going to be doing a scratch tutorial on how to make an AI. This is a, this is actually a very fairly recent uh, thing that I've actually learned how to do, and there probably are many people who actually do. There are probably many of those people who just like to who have always wondered how people do these complicated scratch things like AI and like terrain generation on maps and literal games in general. Which actually map generation and AIs are actually fairly recent things that I have actually just learned. And actually, I do have a simulator game on my uh, on a on my account on, on my school account on Scratch, which I did on the off time when I on my off time pretty much. I just made Scratch games and stuff. And luckily, I actually remembered how to make these AIs and stuff. For example, um, the Scratch Project copy on the top uh, corner is the map generation, but the second to first one is the one I'm looking for. AI. And it, it type like a, 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 a okay, we go okay. Uh when making the uh the AI you don't need this uh this is more of a perfected for a top down type of AI. I don't really know how to do a like a side side moving type of AI. So for those of you who like to make top down a, like games, including me, uh, <clears throat> this is the tutorial for that. So for our AI or for our costume, you can use anything you want. For me, I'm going to use a just a classic circle with eyeballs, like I did with my other thing. Use light purple the size actually really doesn't matter when I did uh, the size on my uh, other uh, thing that was just to kind of make it that was because I included terrain generation on that one and yeah so the smaller they were is better for <laughs> or things getting less confusing But, uh, no. But this thing looks weird. Is, did I... Okay. It looks kind of weird. I'm gonna keep this. If I do not make this symmetrical, well, you guys are gonna end up absolutely destroying me in the comments, and I know it. <laughs> very weird oval type of circle mix. I really don't like it when it does that. It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> mm. Give it eyeballs just to tell the direction. Oh, derpy. <laughs> 
First thing you will need is a move ten a move ten steps block and a pick random from one to ten. The the little block explains it when you tap on it. There. I got five. <laughs> okay. So now <coughs> When I'm gonna so now it moves one to ten steps in order to we're gonna put a forever block around the move uh, pick random uh, around the move block and then put a flag okay now it moves but wait you may be thinking Hold up, how did you make this thing move around like it was in the other, in your other game? Good question. Because, I am going to take, so, because, what you need now is a, is two, is a turn right and left. You go to your pick random from 1 to 10, and... No, no, don't, don't, no, don't tap on it. Uh, put in the number 360 on the pick random. Now, when you put it inside of the turn left and right thing, and put it under our forever loop. This thing is going berserk. <coughs> Allergies. Ugh. <coughs> it's summer. <laughs> so of course allergies are gonna be literally everywhere. <coughs> okay, so in order to fix this. We're going to want to put a delay. So, we take these two out of the forever loop, split the two uh, apart, <clears throat> put them both in their separate forever loops. For the pick random from 1 to 10 move steps, we put 0 0.5 seconds for the move delay. So now, we take the one, we put two one when flag is clicked and put them on top of the, the other two, two forever loops. And now, hold up. I feel like there is something wrong here. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Did I make a mistake? I think the wait 0.5 seconds thing is actually supposed to be around the direction the direction blocks and not the uh and not the moving blocks or i guess you could just call those the rotation blocks what is it five Okay, okay, I, 
I fixed it, I think. I think there can be one thing that I can't fix about fix this to actually make it better. And instead of making it go everywhere, we will put negative 360 in either one of the two um, uh, of the turn blocks. Either one will either one will not really matter. Keep the pick and uh, and remove the bottom. Remove the other one that doesn't have a change. In it. I guess do this. Do, do that. Remove the other one. There we go. And that is how a simple AI can be made. If you want to make him move slower, you can just put a lower number in the move steps, like I guess five. It'll make him move slower. This is, this concludes the tutorial for how to make an AI in Scratch. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. Uh, oh, over here. I guess that concludes the Scratch tutorial. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.